Hi everyone, Scorp here, starting a new playthrough of Dual Slurs as Gemini. Um, you'll see that I'm starting with the Thunder Nyan Nyan deck, um, but I've already modified it a little bit um, because I didn't want to put in all these passwords off screen. Um, you'll notice here something funny on the screen. I don't have spells or traps. So um, I'm going to try to play through the game without using a single spell or trap or ritual card. Um, so, only monsters, no equips. Um, yeah, so none of these really good cards here that I would really like to have in the deck. Um, I have put in a bunch of passwords to give myself a bunch of extra dragons. And a bunch of extra powerful waters. Some rocks. And that's about it. Oh, and some fire pyros. Um, if you can't tell, we're going to go for some three-card twin-headed fusions to start with. Um, I don't think we'll have an issue with Taya, so we're just going to go ahead and go for her. And get rid of Taya, get her out of the way. And then we're going to probably have an issue. Um, Tristan's probably going to be a pain. Just flat out. So I have somewhat of a plan in mind, so we'll see what we can do. So um, you'll notice I also say named this save like Vill Villager 2 just because um, it's going to feel like a Forbidden Memories run for us at least. It's not going to feel like a Forbidden Memories run against us though. Hopefully our opponents just play super nice and um, this isn't a problem. Uh, I want to play Violent Rain next turn, so I guess I'm just not going to play hard this turn. Summoning power is going to be a problem in a monster mash deck. Maybe there was a world where I should have played the um, Violent Rain first there and got an extra 500 damage, but I think it's fine. Just do this. Um, Wicked Worm Beast goes back in her deck, that's fine. Um, at least it doesn't pollute the graveyard slots, not that I actually wanted it anyways. There's not really much to get from her. Um, besides females, but we're not really using females because the best thing about females in this game is their gigantic uh, number of equip cards they can use. Unfortunately, we aren't in a place where we can use equips, so... Goodbye, Taya. So, Taya's nice and easy. It gets her out of the way. Now, I wonder, should we go for Tristan? If we go after Tristan, we're probably gonna lose. But, you know, there's a chance. Uh, Mountain Warrior is not the worst card that's ever existed. Oh, I could use a Key Mace for this. I believe Key Mace works properly for the Mystical Elf fusion most of the time. Well, we'll just give Tristan a try. <clears throat> if we lose, we lose. If we win, that's great. Um, yeah. 
I mean, if we change the field to water, the best you can really realistically do is like a 3,000 on average, so, you know. <clears throat> we have some semblance of a chance. Um, so that's a Judge Man, or Performance of Sword. It's a Judge Man. Um, well, this sure is a... Um, we'll just... Um, since we're not going to play females, we'll just play Mortal of Thunder. Also, I have to say, this YouTube channel has done one thing for me. It has definitely improved my ability to not say um all the time. I say it a lot, though. Ew. What is this garbage hand? I guess we'll just uh, face up defense, another Immortal of Thunder. If he plays any females, uh, they're not going to have a good day. Like, a Blacklister Soldier at this point is, like, even small. I guess we're going to make the Twin Headed the hard way. Rude, Tristan. Honestly, I wanted to name this save file Tristan because the man literally basically has a monster mash deck in the base game. Except for, like, his ritual. Oh, but... Even I can't bring myself to... Or, I couldn't get the right starter deck. I really needed Thunder Nyan Nyan. So I could get uh, double Violet Rain. Which I'm hoping to draw... One of here? Hmm. Hmm. This is not a great hand. So this right here is a 2700, 3000 because of his leader power. Um, so putting it on Wasteland Terrain is great for me. Because I can actually kind of deal with it there. I didn't really want to do Wasteland like that, but it's kind of all I had a choice of. Uh, what did he just use there? Oh, that's really bad. Uh, that was a Blackluster Soldier. Tristan just deciding to go pure hard mode here. <laughs> a very convoluted twin head with Thunder Dragon. Let's see if he'll attack me. Oh. Never mind. I have to do this. His biggest creature is Blackluster Soldier, so um, if I can get over this thing, which, albeit it is power reduced right now, if 
by the double immortal of thunder. How much is this increase? 300 each. So this is pretty big. Hey, we have another 3300 on our side. Although, I actually probably shouldn't play uh, all of these cards because I kind of need to bait them out because otherwise this is going to be kind of counterproductive. So, I guess we'll just do this. Face up defense this thing. And hope that he attacks me. So he should have a Judge Man there, or could be a Performance of Sword, I guess. Performance of Sword would be excellent for me. Oh, it is. That's a lot of damage. That is a very large amount of damage. I mean, there's no way I actually do more damage than this, so... Fortunately, I put him at 50. Right now, any spell like Sparks would be amazing, but I just want to put it in defense, sir. Wow, another female. Excellent. You kind of forget um, how many females are actually in this guy's deck. Um... Obnoxious. Don't do that, sir. Okay. Well, wow, he if he had a trap there, he just saved me from having to deal with it. I did check last turn if I had a twin-headed feather dragon in my head and so I could just bulldoze over my other one and kill him. Okay, that wasn't too terrible. Um I mean technically the uh Blackluster Soldier Fusion is not terrible. That would be a great card in any other run. But unfortunately, we're going pretty much full monster mash here, so Sogan's not usable. Okay, so uh, we should be able to beat um, my my is not terribly difficult. <clears throat> um, this is mostly because she's pretty weak to our deck. Um, she can't really play much better than, like, oh, say, a 3300, which is one equip for her. Uh... She plays mostly Crimson Sunbirds, so I can tie them if they put one or two on it. Like this. So that's 3300. Um, I'm just going to throw a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon to my left next turn. And then deal with the... I'll play another one to my right next turn. I'll just send this the other direction face up so it'll get there quickly.
we just do this, right? Keep the Thunder Dragon in my hand because it can easily get turned into a twin headed. By the way, if she plays a mirror wall, we just kind of lose the game, so. We just hope that there's no mirror wall. No mirror wall, let's go. This is the buff Crimson Sunbird, so that one will kill my kill my twin headed. If I attack into it. I can probably do this without attacking into it. I don't think there's truly a reason to attack into it. What are your hands? Ugh. We'll just face up defense and Immortal of Thunder. Decrease the power of our Harpy Ladies. <clears throat> okay. We can do this. That's fine. Kill this just, just because we can. She's not going to move anywhere because there's 3300s all around her. Okay, we just win. So, relatively painless so far. I highly doubt this will progress like that, so we'll um, see how Mako goes. Although, we have a reincarnation to do. Which, that should go well. Okay, so I would like a Mooka Mooka for this deck, I think, is probably the m most pertinent card for right now. So I'm going to go for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, got ourselves a Mooka Mooka. We also got a Violent Rain, which is absolutely excellent. Oh, we'll just take out... Yes, controller, I totally wanted to hit that button. But that's okay. Now we have an additional win condition in Mooka Mooka, which is awesome. Um, so now we can actually go above the 3300 attack threshold that we had beforehand. <clears throat> if we had the field terrain advantage, which um, we can have for a little bit, but... We're not going to have mountain and sea terrain all the time. Okay. So let's go ahead and get Mako out of the way. Mako shouldn't be too terribly bad, although 
Fortress Whale might be a little annoying. Because Fortress Whale in his summoning area is already at 3350. Um... Go for it. I think we just go for it. Yes, run, Mako, run. I don't like this hand, and I don't like the fact that I really can't get rid of it. Um, I am just going to discard as much as I really can down to one thunder. 2100 is pretty good, though. Of expected that. That's gonna hurt though. Um, that fortress whale is gonna do a lot of damage to me. Um, well, if we're gonna spend four stars anyways. Oh, I should have actually just put the Sea Serpent. I had should have had Spike Seedra attack the other way. Um, guarantee lethal. Because I could have just killed it. Summoned over it with the Thunder Dragon in one. Guaranteed. Oh well. Well, these are useless. Although I guess a three in a row might help. I didn't get a three in a row. So. Guess it's not going to help. Oh, I didn't spell villager two correctly. <laughs> nice. Probably going to get a comment about that because uh, I pointed out the name. Well, I guess we just go go after Joey. Surprised Twin Headed hasn't been promoted yet. Or maybe it has and I just skipped over it because it doesn't even register in my brain. Okay. It's a hand. Okay. That's not a equipped uh, thousand dragon or something, so that's good. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's pretty beatable. Um, well, his own cards are in his way, so it should be good for us. Keep this to three summoning power. Hey, 
hey, he destroyed his own card and might have let me hit him directly here. Oh, he did. Wow. That 1500's not going to look very good, bud. In case that was a trap in front of him. I'd rather take the 3300 than um, have that second twin headed be very capable, so. Um, I'd probably rather keep the Violent Rain around, but uh, more triple fusions are great. Or three card fusions, those are double fusion. Oh, double equip's not good. Not good at all for us. Oh, I can't beat that red eyes. <laughs> not great. Definitely not great. I mean, I have put a lot of cards in my graveyard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that's a that's a big card. There's three more. Six more. Mooka Mooka is gonna be big. Noise. Um, we'd like baby dragons if we can. Uh, baby dragon's extremely good for us because it's a 1200 plus dragon that's only three stars. Actually quite excellent. Uh, the rest of this we can take it or leave it. I don't really need. Uh, we did get two more dragons that just are 2000 plus, but they're also seven stars. And they're 44 deck costs, so not quite worth it. Either way, this was an incredibly good start compared to what I expected to happen to this deck. So, yeah, um, comment what you think down below. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. All those good things.